it is becoming increasingly common to have smartwatches, fitness trackers, and all of these are interconnected using the body area network. So the real problem is how do you have a secure network around the body so that others cannot snoop. Our research on human body communication focuses on, for the first time, containment of the signal within the body so that someone who is very close to the body but not touching the body cannot still snoop the signal. We see the lady using a wireless body area network where her critical signals between the watch that she is wearing and maybe a possible pacemaker is getting communicated through the wireless media. So the signals come off of the body, pass through the airwaves, and then come back onto her body. Which then means these signals are physically available around her up to a 5 to 10 meter distance. Anybody can snoop onto these signals. Granted, they are mathematically encrypted, but because of bad passwords and other things, one can break into these. On the other hand, if electroquasi-static human body communication is used, the signal from the watch is getting coupled into the human body and it uses the conductive property of the body to connect this signal to any other device on the body. It is not radiating out and the signal stays contained within the body. This adds an extra layer of security so that the physical signals are unavailable, making the internet of body physically secure. This is the first time the physical security property of human body communication has been demonstrated by anyone. And that's why I'm very excited about this technology because I can see this changing humans' daily lives in terms of human computer interaction or healthcare remote monitoring throughout the day. So the fact that I see a path of this technology impacting a wide variety of people is the most exciting part of me.